Welcome to Everyday Linux User, everyone. Um, today I'm looking at Debian and it's a clean install. So um, the only thing I've done is I've added myself to the sudo group. Um, other than that, um, today's video is about adding the non-free um, repos into Debian so that you can get some of the updated drivers. So what we're going to do is going to open up a terminal. Now I'm using Cinnamon, so I clicked on the uh, little icon in the bottom left. If you're using GNOME, you can find it in your applications. You should be able to press Control, Alt and T at the same time. And that should also bring up a terminal. But here you are, I'm in terminal. And the command I'm going to um, go for is sudo nano. Nano is an editor. Sudo allows you to run uh, commands as if you're the super user. Or indeed, actually, it means you can run it as any other user, but the default just so happens to be the super user. So sudo nano, and then I'm going to do etc apt sources.list. Type in my password. And this tells me all the places that I'm going to get software from. And you can see I've got bullseye, main, and then various other things down here. So what I'm going to do is... For every one of these, I'm going to type in contrib and non-free. And that's it. Now to save it, I press Control and O, I just press Return, and then Control and X, exit nano. So now what I need to do is run an update command. So I'm going to do sudo apt hyphen get update. And that's it. And you can, um, well, how, how can we see if that's worked? Well, I need some firmware for my uh, Wi-Fi driver, so I know that um, the Realtek firmware is a non-free package. So if I do sudo apt cache search Realtek, you can see there's a, a package there called firmware Realtek, and I know that that's um, a non-free um, package. So um, that's how I know in this case that it's worked, but uh, the fact that it didn't come up with any errors when running it um, means it's, it's probably worked for you as well. We can also install uh, flat packs, so I'll show you how to do that now. So we're going to do sudo apt install flat pack. Obviously, you need to be in a terminal window again. If you're using GNOME, or in this case, I'm using Cinnamon, um, if you're using a, 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 a desktop environment that has the GNOME software manager installed, then it's a good idea to add in the Flatpak plugin for GNOME, GNOME software. So if I do sudo apt install GNOME software plugin Flatpak, And then all I have to do is add in the uh, repository. So again, I'm going to do sudo flat pack remote add. And then I'm going to do if not exists like this. Um, and then I'm going to do flat hub, which is the name of the repository. And then I'm going to put in the path to the repository, which is flat hub org repo flat hub dot flat pack repo uh, so as you see on the screen there 
So do that. And now you have to restart your computer for, for this to work. So that's what I'm going to do. So here we are, rebooted the computer. So how can I prove that Flatpaks is installed? Well, if you're using, so if you're using Cinnamon or you're using GNOME, you can go to the software manager. I want to boot that up. I should be able to find Chrome. And there you are. And Chrome is a flat pack package. Uh, it's not available. And you can see here the source is dl.flathub.org. So that's how you install Flathub. Uh, so short video. Uh, this one's showing you how to install the non-free repositories and how to add flat packs. So, uh, and that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.